This one may be a bit more obvious, but I wanted to offer a few examples to outline how powerful this can be in streamlining your workflow. The tip is to set up a user button as a quick navigation shortcut to take you to a specific screen on the mixer. Now you can do this two different ways. First, from the user button setup screen as you may have expected. You can also do this by first navigating to the screen you want to navigate to and then pressing and holding the desired button for three seconds. Once you let go, a prompt will appear on the screen and you can now set that user button to navigate to the screen you're currently on. This is a great option if there's a particular screen you find yourself using a lot during your workflow and you want to be able to access it on the fly. One of my favorite uses for this is to set it to the Gain Wizard screen, which normally takes a couple of button presses to access, but is an invaluable tool in managing and maintaining a healthy input gain level throughout an event. Some other examples could be an effect screen that maybe you need to adjust throughout a performance, or maybe the anti-feedback feature if you're using a TouchMix 8 or 16, which does not feature a dedicated anti-feedback button. 